All right, here's another one that people do not know. And we were very lucky for this to happen. There was a lot of, of fight nights in Massachusetts. We were lucky. I mean, now the fight cards in Massachusetts is now on a little bit of a comeback, but it was dead. It was dead during years. Um, and now, you know, but back then, to get to Mike Tyson, I, we fought 37 fights in 44 months. That's like a fight a month, man. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, we were racing, racing against a clock for you know, a couple of reasons. I mean, um, I mean, where was I going to ever start boxing? In a small town called Medfield, you know, number one. Where was I going? You know, uh, I, you know, I learned how to box a little bit at an early age with my father. But then, like, you know, time moves on. Uh, my parents split up. My 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 father um, lived about twenty minutes away from Medfield. And again, I, I was lucky though. You know, I was so lucky. I went to Bridgewater State College. And while I was going, uh, started boxing, the second, it was uh, like I did one year without playing any sport, any sports. And, and then between my freshman and sophomore year, I started boxing. School stuff. The, first, the second school, I had my dad take me to the Petrelli Gym in Brockton. I had a car. Gas was cheap, cheap. I mean, gas was, back then it wasn't even a, a dollar yet. Um, it was cheap. You know, I was very lucky, you know. The, the, the used car, good used cars everywhere, cheap ones. Um, I was very, very lucky. And, and then, you know, but I, you know. One, one fight. Uh, you fought the beam. You fought the beam too. Yeah. You know, I, Listen, no, listen. Butterbean, like, usually fought between 340 pounds and 360 pounds. Uh, for me, he got in, in shape for him. He weighed, he weighed 311. I weighed, but I like, I, you know, it was just, it was a different time. It was, um, Four years later, um, I, you know, I just, you know, my head was not in the, in the fight the way it should have been. Um, I got, you know, hey, you know what, excuses, excuses. No, I, yeah, listen, but my question was, who? He could not punch. I was never knocked down. He couldn't punch at all. Could not punch. I, I was going to ask you who hit harder, but I mean, you basically answered the question right now. Put a punch, not even a little bit. All right. So, I mean, okay. All right. Um, when the fight, uh, when the, the referee jumped in at exactly 259 of round one, like you can hear the bell ring. Like they should have let me go back to the corner. You know, let 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 my cornermen do their thing and come back out for round two. Um, it was it was no hey, you know, it, it, it was what it was. Yeah, yeah. I was. I was listen. Um, it, like, I, like I said, never had me down. Never had me hurt. Yeah, I know. Listen. Um, there have been there have been decisions where you know there and I get the ref you know, in one sense, because if, if something happens in the other way, right, 
the ref gets blamed for it too. So I don't. Put it off. If I was locked down, if I was locked down, okay. I was locked down then you get a standing egg count. You know, so if anything, he should have given me a standing egg count because I was never even close to going down. Question you how you got the nickname the Hurricane. How did that come about? You want to know how I came up with that? Well, I don't know. Did you come up with it? Did somebody call you that? Yeah, I'm just curious. I'm proclaimed. Um, I'll tell you, no, a lot of people don't know that. Um, what it was, my pro debut was on Nickerson Field. Nickerson Field was a football field at Boston University. Mm -hmm. Boston University. They did away with the football program, I'm going to say, in the last, within the last two years, three years. Um, you know, all the CT, blah, 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 blah. They got rid of football. But I turned pro on Nickerson Fields. Our lawyer, locker room was the B Boston University football team locker room. It was awesome. I knocked out Van Dorsey in 40 seconds that night. Uh, but, but, all right, so back to the question. So what it was, was it was August 23rd, 1991, which was last night. <laughs> last, I turned pro 29 years ago last night. So, what it was was Hurricane Bob hit the East Coast. Um, might, have, might have hit New Jersey pretty pretty hard. You know? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't But Hurricane Bob almost postponed this out, it was an outdoor show. If it was indoors, it would have even been a question, you know? But right. it was an outdoor show with the ring on the football field. So I said, Hurricane Peter McGilly. That's what it that's what it is. Oh, I had no idea. That's interesting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, I never had a nickname, so so I had to come up with my own. Well, <laughs> Uh, I thought I thought it had something to do with like you remember Reuben Carter that the other guy because that was also his nickname. Hey, no, no, uh, okay. matter. I I had nobody knew who Reuben was. Like he did not have any fame of note in the seventies and the eighties or early nineties, but I found. His book, uh, his book in my father's memorabilia uh, in, the, in the attic where I found the magazines my dad was on the cover. I found Ruben's book. You know, I, I read it. I, I read Ruben's book when I, I was going to say I was 14 years old, 15 years old. I, I read it. And that, the book, is what they based the movie on with um, Denzel. No, Denzel Washington did. <laughs> yeah. Denzel, Den, no, Denzel, and, you know, when it comes to movies, Denzel's a great actor. And Denzel was in the audience of the fight with Ian Tyson. He was, oh, he was there. I had, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He was there. I mean, this is the way before the movie, The Hurricane, called The Hurricane. Was, you know, way, way before that. I, I don't think that movie came out till. Oh, that was, yeah, I think that was like late, late 90s, right? Um, and the fight, well, yeah, that was after. That was, uh, that was after. I don't, you know, I don't know. 
But, uh, but hey, you know, but, uh, but I'm, I'm very proud that I graduated from college. I'm very, very, very proud that I have my diploma from Bridgewater State College because I believe in kids. Yeah. And I tell them at the, I go to my local boxing gym. Um, in Lawrence, Mass, and it tends, it tends with a Z instead of an S, it tends a boxing club on Holly Street, Lawrence. And I tell the, the teens, the young adults there about how I got my college education. And I worked part time doing uh, different jobs. And, and, and I and then I turned pro. And during, during my early pro career, I worked, I worked, worked uh, as a laborer, and then, and then we'd go to the gym every night. So, I mean, God bless all and everybody in the USA that have suffered from COVID. Family, my, my wife, COVID killed my wife's father. The guy, the guy was awesome. The guy was awesome. I call him all. Arazio, Arazio Petrasolo. My wife's, my wife's parents are off the boat from Italy. My wife speaks fluent Italian. Uh, um, and she she can, can cook like you wouldn't believe, and her mother could cook like you wouldn't believe. Uh, hey, once again, I was lucky and blessed.